Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can deploy QTS Cloud on uh, AWS, Amazon Web Services using the community AMI. Okay, So please note that uh, you can also deploy QTS Cloud directly from the AWS marketplace. Uh, we have done a separate video tutorial for that. Uh, so, but in this one, I'm going to show you how you can deploy QTS Cloud from the community AMI. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, for this tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you all the basic AWS services that we have. Uh, then I'll show you how you can launch an EC2 instance and then how you can select the QTS Cloud AMI from the community AMI. Uh, then uh, the next step will be how to define the CPU and RAM that is a configuration and then the port settings and at the end adding the storage and disk okay so this flow this uh, chart gives you an idea about you know how to deploy QTS cloud on AWS so just uh, it, it makes uh, easy to understand okay uh, to you know before you start it will make uh, it will help you to understand the steps that are involved involved okay so here are the main uh, Q, uh, AWS uh, uh, services that are there uh, and for, for our case we just have to worry about the compute service that is a EC2, Amazon EC2 service. There are so many other services in uh, AWS uh, like uh, there are storage services which are like CloudFront or Glacier, uh, there are database services, there are networking services, analytics all these are not relevant to us so okay so for our case we just have to care about this compute service that is the amazon ec2 that's it that's all we need we don't have to worry about anything else okay so having said that let's move to our aws console and yeah so just a second let me exit and yeah so let's go to our aws console now i have logged into my aws and this, these are all the services that I told you. Uh, these are the way all the services that AWS supports, and it can be little dis, uh, you know, uh, overwhelming, overwhelming for a first-time user. But we don't have to worry about that because we just need the EC2. Okay. So once you go to the services section here, you can go to. Oh, sorry. You, once you click on the services section, go to compute and click on the EC2 and once you click on the ec2 you you can go to this tab and click on the instances button here okay so here are all the instances or the virtual machines or the ec2 instances that are there uh, so this is our internal uh, this is our test account so as you can see there are a lot of instances so i'll show you how to create a qts cloud virtual machine or a qts cloud instance from the very beginning now go to the launch instance that is the first step here okay and once you go to the launch instance i told you the first thing you need to do is you have to find the ami the community ami uh, from the community ami you have to find the qts cloud image so click on the community amis once you go here search for qnap and search and as you can see there are two images now this is an image which is created by some uh, one of our customers okay so we cannot change this thing we cannot remove it because it's a community ami so anybody in the community can do this but look for the official uh, the latest one is uh, c452 that we have released recently okay so i'll always advise you to look for the uh, the latest uh, ami from here or if you don't want to go through a AM, community ami you can always go and deploy it from the aws marketplace okay so find the latest version here and click on the select button okay so once you have selected the community ami the next thing you have to do is you have to choose what type of instance you want you want that means you have to define the configuration how many cpu and how many mem how much memory you need for the sake of this video let's go with a simple one that is a two virtual cpu cores and 4 gb memory okay Important thing here is if you go to the QTS Cloud uh, landing page, this is the QTS Cloud landing page. Uh, if you don't know how to reach here, you can just go to QNAP landing page or the QNAP main website, go to products and go to Cloud NAS and click on Cloud QTS Cloud for public clouds. Okay, So all the public cloud uh, that, that we support are mentioned on this website. If you scroll down at the bottom, you will see the system requirements 
here. Now you can see a minimum of 2 GB memory is required for running QTS Cloud. Okay, so that's why I selected here a 4 GB memory. If you choose this instance, it will still work. Okay, so there's no problem. But let's choose this one for better performance. So 2 CPU and 4 GB memory. Okay, so remember this thing. We need at least 2 GB memory to run QTS Cloud instance. Now next thing is click on the configure instance details. And once you click here, you don't have to do anything here. This is just uh, like if you want to have more number of instances or if you want to set up VPC, so you can cho uh, choose those settings. But for the sake of this video, you can just skip this and go to adding storage. Now here is the thing. Now you can add more and more uh, volumes or storage or disks to your uh, virtual machine, to your instance. By default, there is one instance. Uh, by default, there is one volume, which is uh, which is uh, which contains the QTS Cloud image, the, the AMI. Okay, the size of this has to be minimum one GB. That is the minimum set by AWS, so we cannot change it. But for storage volumes, what you can do is just click on Add New Volume and define your size here. Okay, so let's say you want two hundred GB disk. Please note that again, if you go here in the system requirement, it clearly mentions that you can add up to 25 disk so one disk is your uh, 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 the disk where you have the image and you can have 24 slots for the data okay so you can have so this is one and you can add at least 24 more uh, uh, volumes and the size of each can be anything that you specify okay so that is more than enough for any instance please note that <clears throat> only the hard drives which are more than 48 GB will be recognized and listed as data storage disk in QTS Cloud. So I advise you to keep your disk size to at least 48 GB. However, if you want to create a storage pool, <clears throat> okay, if you want to create a storage pool, we recommend that you have at least 144 GB or 200 GB recommended. So minimum is for 144 GB and uh, recommended is 200 GB. So if you want to create a storage pool, let's you have you should have at least 200 GB. OK, so that's what we wanted to show you here. So whenever you add a new volume, I advise you to at least add 200 GB. OK, so that you can create a storage pool for that volume and always choose this option so that whenever you remove your instance, your your volumes, your disks, your storage volumes, EBS volumes will automatically be removed. OK, otherwise it will just keep costing you money. So OK, so anyways, for the sake of this tutorial, let's add one volume, which is going to be of 200 GB disk or 200 GB space. OK, and let's go to add tags. Now this tag will help you to identify your instance. OK, so let's call it uh, uh, um, Asim123. OK, let's call it Asim123. So again, as I said, this tag will help you to identify your instance. I'll show you later. When you have a lot of instances, when you have a lot of virtual machines, it will become very difficult for you to search for your instance. So that's why adding this tag will help. Okay, so I added tag one to three. Now next is configure the security group. Now what is security group? Security group is basically a list of ports or rules like which port you want to keep open, which port you want to keep closed. Okay, so it's a list of rules. And uh, for the first time users, what you have to do is you can create a new security group. Okay, so let's click here and say create a new security group and let's call the security group as a C123 GRP group. Okay, so I'm creating a new security group. Now this new security group, what we need to do is we need to have we need to open some of the ports so that you know we can use QTS Cloud. So SSH uh, is already there, so you can keep it like this. I will advise you to add a custom TCP rule and open the port, uh, let's say 8080, and uh, you can keep the source as anywhere. It totally this depends on your requirement. I will also advise you to use uh, HTTPS port, and you can open 443 as well and source you can keep uh, anywhere or you can define custom if you want uh, we can open the uh, http port also if needed okay so let me just show you here you can just go to http here yeah so you can open http port as well if you want and if you want don't want it you can just remove it okay so that's how you create a security group okay so for your virtual machine these are the rules which are op uh, these are the ports which you have opened 
okay so now let's go to review and launch and uh, yeah so let's click on this is just a review and you can click on the click on the launch button and when you have to select a key value pair for the for QTS cloud you don't have to worry about the key value pair so you can just choose proceed without a key pair and for QTS cloud you don't need a key pair you just click on the launch instances and your QTS cloud uh, instance should be ready as you can see the your instances are now launching so click on view instances and once you go here you can see your name tag asim123 so let me do one thing let me search for asim123 and your instance will appear yeah so this is the instance uh, that you are setting and you can see currently the instance state is pending so aws is uh, starting up your instance okay so we'll just wait for uh, one minute and i think it should be ready soon <clears throat> Okay, so once your instance is ready, you can go here and you can see the IP public IPv4 public IP is here. So this is the IP address of your instance. What you have to do is just click copy and paste it in your web browser and enter the port 8080 and click enter. And maybe it will take some time because as I said, your instance is still waiting. Okay, let's, I think it's started. Let's open again. Let's try to open again and copy this IP address and enter it with port 8080 and <clears throat> wait a minute let's see what is the issue yeah i think it started now maybe you know it takes a little bit of time uh, maybe you know one or two minutes to you know boot up the instance and get it ready so as you can see this is the ip address of your instance and you can be yeah and you can see once you open the ip address please remember to enter the port 8080 and you will be redirected to the QTS Cloud Smart Installation Guide. So all you have to do is now just click on the Smart Installation and enter the license key, okay? So how to generate the license key, how to purchase, and after license key, put, after putting in the license key, how to activate uh, or initialize QTS Cloud, we have covered all that in a separate video, okay, uh, which is called uh, How to Initialize QTS Cloud. Uh, description should, uh, the link should be there in the description as well. Okay, so that's how you proceed. Okay, so that is all uh, in this video. So the main purpose of this video was to show you how you can initialize or uh, how you can deploy QTS Cloud uh, from the community AMI in the AWS um, uh, from in the AWS uh, platform. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching and please let us know if there is any, if there is any feedback, any comments, or if you need any help. Uh, do share with us if you want us to do any uh, video tutorial specific to any particular use case uh, feel free to reach out to us and we'll uh, definitely help to do so okay so thanks a lot for watching